Once you have practiced your watercolor techniques, you can go ahead and start on your final piece of artwork for this project. Um, this is a reminder that your watercolor uh, techniques should not look like anything in particular. Uh, remember that we want to keep our um, application of the watercolors to be loose and abstract. Um, here's some example of what I did. Um, you don't have to do this. There's a lot of examples um, included on the class website. I, I obviously didn't finish painting, but I just did a little piece just to show you. Uh, once you are done with adding your watercolor techniques onto your final piece of artwork and you filled up uh, most of the paper uh, with what you wanted to do, then you're going to go ahead and add your Micron pen and add your Zentangle patterns. They do not have to be the patterns that you did for your practice, um, but you're more than welcome to use that as inspiration or you can also Google more uh, patterns if you don't like the ones you did for the practice. Uh, I recommend that you start out doodling on a scratch piece of paper first or doing um, your doodle or zentangle pattern with pencil first before inking uh, just in case you want to erase or um, you change your mind about something. So I did a little bit um, penciling in the design I want to do and then you're going to go ahead and get your pen. I kind of did a rough sketch of what I wanted to do. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and ink. Um, it helps me to break up the design into smaller sections. Um, so I just have a boundary to add my pattern. Um, for this one, I think I want to do polka dots. Now you can use your positive space or negative space. It doesn't, um, it's you know, it doesn't matter. It's up to you. Um, I'm gonna probably do a, co a combination for this one, uh, but you decide what you where you want to add your pen or your zentangle design. I've had people only do on the white um, space. I've had people only do it on the 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 watercolor, and I've had students that do did a combination depending on what they were feeling. Um, also something to remember is your design. So if you want to keep, um, you don't want to, how do I say this? You want to have some unity, something that ties everything together. Um, so one way of doing that is sticking to one type of line, um, or, uh, style. So if you want to do like, um, circular or organic, those tend to go well together. And then geometric and lines tend to look good together because they are in the same kind of family of line work. So think about that. Um, also think about contrast. So I think this area is a little empty. So I'm going to make some lines thicker. Um, you can fill in sections just to add some contrast. Again, you're thinking about positive and negative space as part of your composition. So I like that better. I might add one over here just to balance it out. And you're gonna do that. Um, yeah, so if you don't know, you can do it in pencil first or Google some images. You can move around. So if you get bored of an area, you can go somewhere else. it's really helpful to add boundaries or outlining a section. It helps me, you know, break up the work into smaller sections and it gives more areas for variety. And so on. So that's what you're doing. Um, we're going to add the patterns and the zendangle on top. And then you're all done once you're done.